Seasonal affective disorder is um, one uh, form of uh, uh, depression. It could be major depression or bipolar disorder. And it consists of uh, worsening um, of mood during particular times of the year, in particular fall and winter. And those major depressive episodes may lead to significant decrements in people's functioning, uh, well-being, um, ability to relate to, um, to those important in their lives. Um, and one of the most important um, factors contributing to seasonal affective disorder is a decrease in day length. So light therapy um, is the first line of treatment for uh, seasonal affective disorder. The subsequent lines include medications and um, cognitive behavioral psychotherapy. And what we have recently published is that even after the first session of light treatment, patients with seasonal affective disorder do experience a little bit of an improvement in depression. It may not be much, it's not remission of depression. It's not uh, a full response of depressive symptoms, but uh, even a little bit of improvement, uh, it's very important for uh, someone uh, who is depressed. The second uh, domain uh, in um, uh, of research in light treatment, our group does, is uh, its uh, metabolic effects. We know that there is a cardinal symptom of SAD um, involving weight gain in the winter. So what we were interested, in fact, if light treatment has uh, an impact uh, not only on mood, but also on appetite, um, certain metabolic um, um, hormones uh, involved in regulation of weight, such as ghrelin, adiponectin, uh, insulin. Um, also, if there is any prediction of the response of light treatment by any of these metabolic factors. So these are, this is work in progress. Uh, and um, we are encouraged by the preliminary results that we are observing uh, at this point.